This is KMTV 3 News Now. Good Thursday morning to you. I'm Zach Williamson with 3 News Now. Sarpy County Attorney's Office has charged a driver with vehicular homicide after a September crash that killed two people. The attorney's office says alcohol and speed may have been a factor when 33-year-old Maria Diaz Castellon ran a red light on September 23rd, hitting a GMC at Cornhusker and Fort Crook Roads. It killed Kristen Fritz and Victor Munez Garcia and injured three others in a separate vehicle. Nebraska Medicine has hit a big milestone, more than 500 heart transplants. The hospital performed its first heart transplant in 1994, and after a six-year pause, in 1999, the program was restored. Now they can even use organs after the cardiac death of the donor. The first transplant of that kind was performed in January of last year. And on 3 News Now, Chief Meteorologist Mark Stitz. We continue to cool off on this Thursday. Temperatures briefly topping out near 70 degrees early in the afternoon before our stronger cold front arrives. And that will knock us back into the mid-60s, even some low 60s by the evening commute. Also breezy as that colder air blows in, but we'll keep a lot of sunshine around throughout much of the day. But that cold air keeps blowing in overnight. In fact, we fall down to 38 degrees for Friday morning. Tomorrow the wind will be lighter and we keep the sunshine, but it will be much, much cooler. High is only near 56. Saturday, we start in Omaha near 34 degrees. That's cold enough that we could see some areas of frost, so protect any sensitive plants before heading to bed Friday night. Saturday, though, we get back to the mid-60s, plenty of sunshine, and then Sunday back to the mid-70s. It looks like we'll stay in the 70s for the first half of next week. Very small chance of rain on Wednesday.